Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. The annual Water Bomb Festival returns to Seoul later this month. And as the exciting weekend of water cannon battles and high-energy live performances approaches, the organizers continue to reveal the final lineup. The lineup includes many returning Water Bomb veterans, as well as artists performing at the popular festival for the first time, including ISPA. ESPA's participation in the festival was confirmed only hours ago. And while fans are grateful for the increased schedules for the talented 4th Gen group, they're also concerned about their health and safety for two reasons. Before ESPA takes the 2023 Waterbomb stage in Seoul on June 25th, they have a concert in Jakarta, Indonesia, the day before, on June 24th. The back-to-back -back shows in different countries have many fans. Concerned that the members won't be able to adequately rest between performances. Additionally, netizens expressed frustrations with the festival's potentially unsafe environment. Considering Ningning's eye condition, Waterbomb combines water fights with live music. Water cannons and water guns are provided for attendees to aim at each other. And the performing artists. Fans are asked not to point the water cannons at the faces of the performing artists, but unfortunately, that guideline has historically not been followed by everyone. Espa's Ninging revealed to Vogue Plus China earlier this year that she had surgery on her right eye when she was younger, continues to experience visual impairment, and requires ongoing treatment with eye drops. Knowing the fragility of Ninging's eye, the potential for unsafe performance conditions, and the members' schedule. Netizens are calling for increased enforcement of rules at Waterbomb and for ESPA. S Company, some entertainment, to allow the members to rest. 